and the U.S. government, and that's what we find that right poles must get together in this situation. <laughs> Kenya is not just Kenya, and Kenya is not just one country. Kenya is a gateway to the African market. 1.3 billion people, 2.5 billion people by the year 2025. Currently, Africa has a combined GDP of 3.1 trillion. But away from Africa, Kenya, we start from the East African community, a market of 250 uh, million people, going all the way to Comesa with 400 million people, and now as we accelerate towards African continental free trade area. So as you come to Africa, there is one port of call, and that port of call in Kenya. Indeed, even for you, I want to say this. In the coming years, there are only going to be two businesses, two, two categories of businesses in the world. The first category are businesses that are going to be growing, and those are the businesses that are going to be in Africa. And the second category are businesses that are going to be extinct. So it's up to you to choose which category you want to belong to. <laughs> and as you make that decision, you must always put in mind that indeed the place to be is in this great country called Kenya. We offer many opportunities in renewables, in digital transformation, in manufacturing, uh, in the area of healthcare, where other than some of the big names that we are trying to attract to uh, manufacture here in, in, in Kenya, we are also working on an initiative with our pharmaceutical manufacturers to set up the first ever advanced pharmaceutical ingredient factory right here in Kenya to serve uh, the, uh, the rest of uh, sub-Saharan Africa. And we welcome the pharmaceutical companies that are here to join us in this endeavor. It is not enough just to manufacture here and bring the APIs from 